All right, so welcome back to part three of the PSAT prep. If you have not watched the two previous parts, make sure to click them. They'll be in the description below. But let's begin. So we have question 10. If f of x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 3 for all values of x, what is the value of f of negative 3? So in order to find f of negative 3, this right there has to equal to negative 3. So let's set x minus 1 equal to negative 3. Because doing so, we'll find the real value to plug into this equation right here. If we add 1 to both sides, we have x is equal to negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. Meaning the real value that we have to plug in back to this equation, which is the real function, is negative 2. So we plug negative 2 in, f of negative 3 is going to be equal to 2 times x, which is negative 2, plus 3. And now this will give us negative 4 plus 3, which is equal to negative 1. Meaning the real value of f of negative 3 has to be d, negative 1. Exactly how you do it, because this is not exactly f of x, but rather f of x minus 1. So that's why we set the equation as x minus 1 because is equal to negative 3. Okay, moving on, let's go to question 11. So which of the following is equivalent to s minus t times s over t? So let's just distribute s minus t times s is just equal to s squared minus s t. Right, we're just multiplying s by s and s by negative t, giving us this. And this is all over that t right there. And now let's divide s squared over t. You can't really simplify that, so we're just left with s squared over t. And then minus st over t. The t's cancel out, right, in this. So on top, it just leaves us with s. So meaning your simplified answer should be s squared over t minus s. Also meaning your answer has to be c. So all we had to do was distribute and just simplify whatever we could. Moving on, let's go to question 12. So p of x is equal to 3 times x squared minus 10x plus 5 minus 5x minus k. In the polynomial p of x defined above, k is a constant. If p of x is divisible by x, what is the value of k? So if this equation is divisible by x, let's just simplify it first. So if we distribute the 3 to these three terms, x squared plus 10x plus 5, we'll be left with 3x squared. 3 times 10x is 30x and 3 times 5 is 15. And now let's distribute the 5 into x minus k. It's going to be minus 5x, and negative 5 times negative k is going to give us plus 5k. Okay, so let's simplify this one right here. So we have 3x squared. Oop, my leg just broke. I'm writing too hard. Okay, so 3x squared. And then 30x minus 5x is going to give us negative 25x, I mean, positive 25x, and 15 plus 5k. So because we want this to be divis the divisible by x, this is already divisible by x, right? If we divide it by, by x, we would just be left with 3x plus 25. But then if we had another term, for example, a constant, like let's just say randomly, this is not exactly the answer, but let's just say we had plus 4, right? 4 divided by x does not completely factor, right? This does not give us a whole number such as 3x plus 25 like that. So it means we can't have a constant anymore. So it means for the constant part of this equation, it must equal to zero. So the constants are 15 and 5k. So that must mean that 15 plus 5k has to equal to zero. They combine, giving us no constant. So doing so, we can just subtract 15 on both sides, giving us 5k is equal to negative 15, divide both sides by five, that should give us k is equal to negative 3, meaning your answer has to be a for the value of k. Awesome. So what we had to do is simplify this right here, and then we just had to find out that our constant is equal to 0, so we set the equation equal to 0, and we just solve for k. And let's move on to our last multiple choice question, which is number 13. So in the xy plane, if the parabola with equations y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, passes through the points negative 1, 1, which of the following must be true. So because negative 1, 1 is a point right here, let's just plug it in. So the y value is 1. So 1 is equal to a times x squared. x is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. 
So if we simplify this, this will give us one is equal to negative one squared is one, right? Negative one times negative one is one. So one times a is just a. Negative b, I mean b times negative one is equal to negative b. And then we have plus c. So one is equal to a minus b plus c. Are there any answer choices that look similar? So a doesn't really look like it. B doesn't really look like it. How about c? A plus b plus c is equal to one. Eh, not exactly. But D, we have A minus B plus C is equal to 1. And that is exactly what we have. Meaning your answer has to be D. So all we had to do in this question was basically just plug in our X and Y values that are already given and then just see which ones match. So this does it for the multiple choice section. In the next video, we will move on to the short answers.